Hi everyone. Uh, well, we've been looking at the power of the cross this week, and we've come to Monday, Thursday, and we're going to consider uh, something that happened on the evening of the Last Supper. And in this event, uh, we're going to see that Jesus must serve us through his death on the cross. Jesus must serve us through his death on the cross. On the evening before Jesus is arrested, he and his disciples, uh, they gather together to eat what we now call the Last Supper. But before they're able to do that, they must clean their feet, which are covered with the dust and the dirt of the Jerusalem streets. And there's no servant around to help them. And to the disciples' shock, Jesus takes a towel a basin of water and begins washing and then drying the disciples feet. This is a job that's reserved for the lowliest of servants. But Jesus, the master, the teacher, the Lord, he does it. Now we can follow this event in John's Gospel, uh, chapter 13. Uh, but for now, we're just going to consider verse 8 of that chapter. Peter cannot understand why Jesus is doing this. Surely it should be the other way around. And he says to Jesus, No, you shall never wash my feet. And Jesus answers, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Peter is the disciple, Jesus is the master, and so it feels like the natural choice would be for Peter to wash Jesus' feet as a sign of honouring Jesus. But Jesus says it, it can't be that way around. He's really clear about it. Unless I wash you, you can have no part with me. Unless you allow me to serve you, you can't have anything to do with me. You see, at the heart of the cross is Jesus' ultimate act of service. We have to allow ourselves to be served by Jesus, for our sins to be washed clean by him. Sometimes uh, we think that first we need to do something for him, you know, before he can do something for us. Perhaps we think we need to do something that might please him or something that might earn his favour. But no, unless Jesus has dealt with our sins on the cross, unless he has washed us and unless we have received that washing, that forgiveness, that, uh, that uh, cleansing. We don't belong to him. We don't have a relationship with him and we can't be with him. So don't be too proud to think that you don't need washing. Uh, you do. We all do. And also, watch out if you're someone who's prone to despising yourself. You might be saying to yourself, I don't deserve this, so I'm not going to ask for it. But Jesus says, unless I wash you, you have no part with me. It's not about whether we deserve it, we don't. It's about receiving his washing. In his death on the cross, uh, Jesus performs the ultimate act of service. He gives a, his life to wash us clean from sin. As you uh, reflect on the power of the cross this Easter, make sure that you allow Jesus to serve you. Uh, receive his act of service, his death in your place, his forgiveness, his washing. Uh, let's pray. Father God, we thank you once again for the death of your son Jesus, for giving him in our place. And we pray that you would help us to receive this washing, to receive this great act of service, the cleansing of sin. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Well, tomorrow is Good Friday. Uh, there won't be a daily devotion tomorrow, but we will have a live uh, all-age service at 10 a.m. Uh, you can watch it here on the YouTube channel, on our live stream, uh, which you can join in with, you can share your comments, you can say hello to uh, everyone else in the congregation. And the link for this will also be on the church website as well. And also, as well as that all-age service, we'll be sharing a link on the website to some of the, the Good Friday reflections that Bishop Rod Thomas has produced. Uh, so please do look out for that as well. Uh, that's all for now, and I hope uh, to see you soon.